it's, it's taking a very different approach to what financial freedom is. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So a lot of people think they need millions of dollars, when in reality, with each level of financial freedom, you're gonna feel more in control and have more time, which is ultimately so much more, more valuable, important than money. Way we're more valuable. We're gonna talk a lot about that. I agree, that. I agree. Let's walk through some of your, uh, your, your literally your chalkboard, yeah. <laughs> and get schooling. I've never taught, I'm not a teacher, I'm sorry. So the average American, this is one of the things, spends 72% of their income on three things housing, transportation, and food. And then about 28% on everything else. So the personal finance world, everyone tells you to cut out that coffee or that glass of wine. Yeah, and I've always thought that, that was a little bit of BS. Like, I'm not, first of all, you don't want to know me if I give up my coffee a day. <laughs> right? And secondly, is really even the $3 coffee going to make me financially free? I don't think so. I'd rather be less grumpy. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, so those, those small purchases are often the ones that give us the most joy in our exactly. life. Exactly. They're the things we look forward to. Exactly. And the world tells us to cut them back, and then we're unhappy, and then we stop budgeting, and we're back to overspending. So when you look at an actual $3 cup of coffee, you're only going to save about $90 a month. Right. And that's really not going to get you that far. In fact, just saving 3% of your income, you're probably not going to be able to retire. And that's one of the reasons the average American saves 3.2% of their income. And that's why we're in the crisis that we're in. And we keep working until you, Yeah, forever. until something right. bad really right. happens. Right, so you literally drop. But where you right. get the big savings is in your housing, your biggest expense. And so that's one of the things we're taught to take out the biggest loan or taught to get the biggest house that we can. But if you're able to save, say, $900 a month, on your rent or on your mortgage, that is gonna cut the time it takes you to become financially independent from never to 20 years or less. But how do right. you do that? So easy, it's a great great question. So you can get a two or three bedroom apartment and get a roommate for a little while. Mm -hmm. You can do something that's called house hacking that I talk about in the book, yep. where you buy a three bedroom apartment and then you get two of your friends. This is of course easier to do when you're young. And the other thing is nothing has to be forever. So in my own story, I only lived in what was ended up being a pretty crappy apartment for about mm -hmm. three years, but that gave me enough money to invest and we're gonna talk about what that means for the rest of also, my life. Also, if you're older in life and you're buying a house, you can buy one that's within your means Ab instead of taking the largest loan you can get. Absolutely. Right. So you want to try to keep your housing cost as low as possible because that's really where you're going to save the most Because it's the largest money. cost, right. I think, Absolutely. for most Americans. And, yes. then, and then cars is the second thing. Right. So that's really how you get ahead. Transportation, you could save a ton, too. Uh, you know, if the gas prices go up or if you have a gas guzzler of a car, why don't you look into exercising a little more, perhaps Yeah, a biking, bike. walking. Right. Yeah, right. there's always someone who wants to carpool with you. And then yeah. the biggest thing that you should try to stay away from is actually a car payment. Because the average car payment in the United States is about $600 per month. Yeah, it's crazy. And, and so leases, drive, woo. Yeah, so yeah. crazy. Just that one car payment could be enough to help you retire in 20 years or less. And okay. Curtis and I agree on meals. Yeah. Start cooking, people. You'll yeah, save absolutely. a lot of money.